for um, Saturday, May 7th. And today we have a very, very cool day. Um, so today I feel that the flow of energy is easygoing. We have two earth, um, earth trines like grand earth trines. And then we have the kite that's going on as well. So we have a lot of energy in harmonious flows of energy. There's a lot of energy being super supportive of either relaxing and slowing down because earth energy is very, very slow, very deliberate. So for some of us with this retrograde cycle, it's it's a blessing because, you know, Jupiter's getting ready to to ramp up on as of as of the ninth. Jupiter, well, the sun, I think it's sun, the Mercury align, and then Jupiter goes direct on the same day. And so I believe that we're getting ready. So this downtime is nice in astrology for us to be able to talk about because it's just a trying and easy flow of energy. We don't always have to be progressive in energy. So all three trines in energy are going to conjunct each other. So I believe deeply that the kite has the ability to lift up any of these three areas. Jupiter and Virgo, which is your routines, your rituals. Um, it is work-based um, endeavors. Um, it's mental health, physical health. It's all of those things. Um, that's the kite. So that's the most inspired. That's what we're really getting down to business is. It's how can we define, how can we... Um, really uh, get the most out of our um, habits in life and, and our rituals? How do we get the most out of them? How do we create health in those areas and wealth and, and well-being? I believe that that's the kite. That's where we're trying to get to. Love, I believe, or unions, partnerships, significant relationships is in the trine, but it's also conjuncting this, this, um, this kite. So I believe there's the ability there for some of us that want to deal with with progressive energy that really feel inspired by all this energy that love is is really you're starting to form bonds i think that are significant um especially for some of you guys that have had some past based uh baggage i believe that you're releasing yourself from a lot of that baggage you could in this energy and i believe that the way that we think and interpret our past um the way that we set if we compare our lives to what we valued in the past and what we have right now i believe for many of us we're thinking things through and we're and and again you know at this point still jupiter's in retrograde Pluto's in retrograde, which is very influenced in this, in these grand trines, in all of these trines. And Mercury in Taurus is still in retrograde in this trines. Um, so we have a lot of still, I believe what it's trying to get us to do is to recall, to recess and redefine. I believe that those are very powerful words right now. And for some of us, that means we don't take action right now. We we're in an assessment period. And so, although some people think that, well, we should be action oriented and we should be taking care of things and there should be more results. I think some people are wanting results, but it's not about results, it's about redefining. Um, for many of us, it's about redefining the way that we think and interpret our lives and the way that we go about, you know, maintaining. I believe these are really powerful things to talk about. Um, I believe that for many of you, if you want to change uh, what you're aligning with, say you're aligning with a, just a trine and you don't want to do anything about your life, that's not a bad energy. But if you want to really raise your vibration and attach to the kite, then what I believe that you should do is I believe that you should start just doing the daily tasks around the house. You'll redirect your energy toward the kite. Uh, any, you know, running errands, um, anything that you do habitually, um, really reassessing those routines, uh, work out, you know, you know, if you've always in the past thought about joining a gym, join a gym. Be careful of the contract issue because you don't really sign up a whole bunch of contracts. Make sure that 
you it's like a month to month type thing. So if you, you know, reassess after you're done and, and, and decide that it doesn't work for you or if you have a sudden job change and that location won't work for you. But what I'm saying, be smart in the retrograde cycle. But it's definitely a time where you can redirect your energy, maybe go take a walk and decide every day I'm taking a walk. You will attach to the right energy, which is, I think, very, very important. Um, for many of you, you're just going to resist change because to be quite frank with you, you don't have the energy. Um, I have never slept so much, but of course I'm on some pain. I'm not on pain pills, but I'm on like <laughs> muscle relaxers, but, um, I don't have a lot of energy to really, like if something comes up, I just don't care. And many of you, it's okay to feel that way in a retrograde cycle. It's normal. Um, relationships will leave you feeling very vulnerable. You will have a lack of motivation to commit to anything or change in anything. This isn't that energy. It's not a cardinal energy. It's an earth-based energy. It's very slow to make commitments. They're going to make commitments. They're, they've thought them through. It's been something where you have been resonating over for a very, very long time. And so I think that for some of you, this is a really great energy to, I would say, get a little creative in some of your thought processes. Um, I would redirect more toward a Neptunian mindset um, if you want to get that base of the sextile. Because the sextile is what's going to give you the oomph to make any, to do any kind of have any energy whatsoever. Like for me, I get I get idyllic, you know, in your thinking. Don't get so idyllic that Saturn comes in and kicks your butt because Saturn's also like, you know, one to keep you realistic, little rat bastard. But, you know, it's really honestly <laughs> positive energy today. Um, Jupiter and Virgo has the power to expand physical um, health um, as health issues as well as mental instability. We want, okay, here is what I do. And this is something that I am very, very diligent about doing. I'm not really diligent about always staying in the highest form of vibration, but what I am is really good at is now redirecting my energy when I notice that it's getting a little carried away. So if I'm working out, like if I don't feel like working out because I've been trying to work out every day except for when I hurt my neck. Um. What I've been trying to make myself do is say, I want Jupiter to expand health. I want Jupiter to expand mental well-being. And I know that if I go take this power, if I power walk it out and I just, and I, I work out so much, I feel amazing afterwards. And so that's what I want Jupiter to expand. I'm very secure in what I want Jupiter to, to expand and not to expand because I don't want it to expand neck problems and you know I'm freaking getting old and so I don't want it to expand these problems I want it to expand wow I'm healthy for my age I am you know I'm going to be those 80 years old 80 year olds that are still like you know doing yoga like that's what I want it to expand I have that idyllic thought in my mind and so for some of you if you attach to that energy or like say you're just kind of a lazy person and you don't really tend to the day-to-day -day details. You don't like running errands. You don't, you know, you don't do the things that you should do. Like a really good plan to do with, with uh, Jupiter and Virgo like this with the kite and Neptune at the base is go through and make up all of your, your food for the week and put it in little Tupperware containers. And so you just grab the Tupperware container on Monday and it's healthy. And you're not getting something from a vending machine. Like you want Jupiter to expand something. That's the way to get down to business. Because Jupiter's getting ready to go direct. Don't have Jupiter expand your life if you're in a negative mindset. Or if you're in a negative habit. Or if you're in a negative. If it's going to go direct here, buddy. So I really want Jupiter to expand me at that moment where I'm ready to lift off. And so really keep that in your head because Jupiter has the power to create. It's such a benefic plan. It can be malefic as hell. And it has been re recently for me because I've let things slip. But I'm ready for Jupiter to go direct. So right when Jupiter is ready to go direct, I want to be, I've got my habit, you know, I've got my rituals down. I've got some of, you know, my 
my mindset that I really want Jupiter to expand opportunity and growth. And so really start to work on that energy. That's a really powerful way to work with retrograde energy. You know, it because I don't want the past to be repeated. I want the present to be beautiful and benefic. And so you have that ability in this energy. Um, I want Jupiter to expand mental consistency. I don't want waves of up and down being, you know, having so many influences in cancer. I don't want mental instability. I don't want to have so many phases of the moon completely. So I want to develop really healthy habits. I hope I'm explaining it right because it's, 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 you know, it's been very clear to me as I've been taking my walks exactly what I I need to do at this time in my life. You know, um, the moon moves into Gemini today. And when the moon moves into Gemini, your emotions, you have the ability to emotionally align with either the dark twin or the light twin. The dark twin could make you very passive and trying out and not want to do anything. The really light twin can make you overly enthusiastic about everything you do. Mind which twin you attach to because that, that's very apropos for this energy that we have, these three trines, and we have one that's in a kite, and they're all kind of working together. I think it's trying to merge mindsets, and that's really hard in all of this energy that's going on. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.